So I cut two pieces of aluminum of equal size. This one I placed in the scintillation vial with the scintillation cocktail and measured the background for 10 minutes, 10 times. The other one I sandwiched between two strips of polonium 210, 500 microcurie each for a total activity of 1 millicurie. This is to expose the aluminum to alpha particles which on extremely rare occasion trigger a nuclear reaction and release a neutron. This is the nuclear reaction Irene Joliot Curie discovered in January 1934. The leftover from this intense bombardment is phosphorus 30, with a half-life of about 2 minutes. The blank measurement yield the probability of detection somewhere around 57 to 58 counts, with a statistical maximum somewhere around 60. The exposed aluminum strip yield a value of 63 which is above the statistical noise and must be considered as a legitimate detection.